Hey there, Chad here for the AI Content Dojo. And in this video, I want to sort of teach you a way that you can more thoroughly explore your topic, or I guess, in a sense, use AI to research your topic and help you come up with ideas to write about, things to think about when you're planning maybe your site structure and stuff like that. I'm gonna be using a couple of tools. Uh, that'll be Phrase and Shortly AI. You can probably do this in any of the other uh, AI writers like Conversion AI or Niches, uh, Go Copy and stuff like that. Uh, phrase, an alternatives to Phrase are like Market Muse or um, Post Space or Post Pace or something like that. Blogly maybe. Um, but the, the two that I'm going to use in this video are Shortly and Phrase. Uh, f shortly has some superpowers that I want to show you. You might not be aware of, um, that are, that are really cool and kind of really kind of take it an extra step because phrase is kind of that sort of foundation, right? So let's go over to phrase. We're going to pick a topic called, we're just going to pick yoga mats. Um, and I've already set up the document in phrase just because I don't want to have to waste your time watching all of the research happening. So that's what Phrase is doing for you, right? It's using its AI. It's going out. It's getting the top competitors for that search term, yoga mats. And it's coming back with all the content that you can research and learn and, you know, to study from. Uh, don't forget that when you're using Phrase, always edit the sources so that you can pick out the ones like this is like obviously a product best. You might want to leave best, maybe, okay, more, let's see, target. We don't, like absolutely like, you know, the super obvious uh e-commerce stores maybe like walmart and that kind of stuff just take those out these ones that didn't process take those out as well um cnet we'll leave that and um npr hmm. wow that's interesting 500 foods contain the yoga mat compound that's interesting okay and yoga direct okay whatever so that's good enough for now we'll save and so now here, Phrase has given us the, the results. So New York Times, best yoga mats. Let's see, our pick. So you can, Lululemon, the reversible mat. Okay, you can kind of read what they've written about it. Get get some ideas for me, what you want to write about uh, yoga mats. Budget picks, that's pretty cool. So you can kind of just sort of you do some research here. Um, and topic score, if you want to know some of the keywords that are kind of being focused on and, and stuff like that. It's really a nice thing, but uh, one of the things you can try and do is just automate a content brief. And let's see, you might pick, let's see, questions, topics, topic. Let's just leave it at topic clusters. People also ask, and some statistics are nice. And we'll leave it at that, and we'll just uh, insert this into the content brief. And what we'll get back is a big pile of content that we can research for our topic, yoga mats. And let's like take a step back and just imagine that yoga mats wasn't the thing that you're a subject matter expert in. Now you can use this content to kind of get up to speed a little bit on the kinds of things that people are asking about yoga mats, what the top SERPs have, you know, as far as yoga mats and stuff like that is concerned, you know, and, and some of the topic clusters you might, you might uh, focus on when you're trying to plan for your, your search engine optimization and stuff. Okay. So this is the content that you'll get from phrase. Very nice, very helpful. You could copy this into shortly and expand upon it if you want. And I'll do that in a future video, but for now we're going to use shortly's, um, some superpowers inside of shortly. So the title is just going to be yoga mats, just like, uh, just like I did in the uh, phrase example. Now, I'm, I could type all this by myself, but I'm gonna go over to the content recipe maker that I wrote, and I have a new thing here. And let's just put yoga mats in here. And when I hit explore the topic, it's just gonna give me some, some commands that I can copy into shortly. And I'll show you what happens over here. So it's, it gives us a, 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 an article brief that we wanna put over here, and then we can take this part out. Okay, now we've got a few commands to run. You'll notice that a couple of them are the same commands twice. That's on purpose. That's so we can get more of that con that type of content. So first, we kind of want to seed some content in here, like yoga mats. Like right now, you can see inside of shortly, it's a title, it's an article brief, and then it's a bunch of instruct commands. That's generally not super productive inside of an artificial intelligence writing app like this. 
So we need to get some content in there to start working with. And so this instruct command that gets an answer for what is yoga mats should be able to get us started on this. So I'm going to run this and see what it comes up with. I should have changed it to what are yoga mats, but it's doing a pretty good job. Okay, so now we've got some seeded content. Now we want to see if we can get some topic ideas for yoga mats. We can just start running through all these commands. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Now that we've got this running, I'm going to bring that up there again, run this one. And I missed that uh, feedback I was supposed to give it shortly there for a second. Okay, so we've got some topic ideas, some things to think about in, on this topic. Let's get some questions now about the about uh, yoga mats, maybe that people are asking. And I'm actually kind of curious. I want to compare this to what um, Phrase came up with. Okay, let's delete this, make it so that they stick together a little bit. Run the command again. Get some more questions. All right. Okay. Now, persuasive bullets about yoga mats is going to be a little interesting. Um, I'm, and I put this in here because I want to see if I can get it to sort of maybe give us some a little bit of maybe marketing material that we might think about as far as if we were going to do reviews of yoga mats or things like that, how we might think about, um, you know, framing our message to help us uh, maybe make some sales. And, um, okay, it's more or less giving us some good information to understand about yoga mats. Okay, so we've got tons of questions. We've got some topic ideas, reducing pain, eliminate pain. Let's see, waterproof yoga mats, memory foam, rubberized, the best ones to buy. Now, years, don't worry about years, change them. You know, you can, that's just the way it is. Uh, save money, yep, popular, eco-friendly, you know. It's very good good content for us to look through and to kind of plan a strategy for we, how we might build a website and what we might write about. And, um, and, and after this, you know, you might start a new document that's very just dedicated to one of these things. Um, if I, let's see, let's, let's pick one. Like if you are, how are memory foam or rising PVs mass different? You know, that's a pretty good, uh, topic for an article. I would say you'd copy that out, start a new document and just start cranking out content on that. And um, in fact, you could probably copy this, go back over to here, paste this in there, hit long form article, and it's gonna give you uh, a bunch of instructions that you can start getting your the, the product or your, your article written for this uh, topic. So then you would copy that into a new shortly. And just like you saw here before, you'd run all those commands to get all this content back. Okay, so I was curious. I wanted to see how these questions, remember if this is the section where everything was questions, right? These are the questions that it came up with, like how can I stop my yoga mat from sliding around on top of the floor? That's that's pretty good. Now I'm curious, what does phrase have in here for? Let's see, what is the best thickness, the difference of best yoga mats? Where sh how much should I spend? Six millimeter good. Can you wear shoes? Can you work on a carpet? Why are they expensive? Hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, these are all pretty good questions too, in a way, right? And then let's see, is there any more in here? Questions. What's the best way to clean it? Where should I consider? Okay. Now that's, uh, you know, phrase gives us some pretty good things. Combine that with what shortly was able to give us. And I think you can see that if, if you are going to write about yoga mats, now there's a bunch of content for you to take advantage of to start down that path of creating all the articles that you need to either start getting some traffic or to maybe uh, post into social media to get some traffic so that you can make some sales on affiliate deals and things like that. Um, I hope that you found this interesting. If you did, please subscribe, You know, like, share, and all that good stuff so that you can help this channel grow. I would really appreciate it. If you go down into the show notes, I'll have a link to where you can find shortly and where and, you, and get phrase as well. And if you purchase from my links, those companies will give me a small commission to help support the dojo. And if you want to learn more, check out the Facebook group where we, you know, we're just a bunch of ninjas making the most of this AI 
and uh, I'd love to see you there. Anyways, until next time, take care.